Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to a continuation of Surah Al-An'am -An uh, We left off at verse 80 and we're gonna continue from there So, uh, disclaimer before we continue The outside world, my neighborhood, as always, is super loud There's loud music, there's dogs barking, there's chickens, there's goats There's, I don't even know what's happening outside So, if you hear... Please excuse, I'm planning to soundproof or like find a place to soundproof in this house so that we will not be disturbed any longer. But for now, we have to deal with the noises. And yeah, before we do start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell button so you're notified whenever I do upload a video. Anyways, guys, let's check this out. My Lord encompasses all things in knowledge, and will you not remember? How should I fear what you associate, while you do not fear that you have associated with Allah, that for which he has not sent down to you any authority? So which of the two parties has more right to security, if you should know? <laughs> and do not mix their belief with injustice. Those will have security, and they are rightly guided. That was our conclusive argument which we gave Abraham against his people. We raise by degrees whom we will. Indeed, your Lord is wise and knowing. <laughs> And we gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all of them we guided. And Noah we guided before, and among his descendants, David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward the doers of good. And Zechariah, and John, and Jesus, and Elias, and all were of the righteous. Wow, well, that's a lot of names that I wasn't expecting. I think I said this the last time. Like, these are names that I would never expect it to be in the Quran, but it's great to see. <laughs> Ishmael and Elisha and Jonah and Lot, and all of them we preferred over the world. <laughs> and some among their fathers and their descendants and their brothers, and we chose them and we guided them to a straight path. That 
that is the guidance of Allah by which he guides whomever he wills of his servants. But if they had associated others with Allah, then worthless for them would be whatever they were doing. <laughs> Those are the ones to whom we gave the scripture and authority and prophethood. But if the disbelievers deny it, then we have entrusted it to a people who are not therein disbelievers. <laughs> whom Allah has guided, so from their guidance take an example. Say, I ask of you for this message no payment. It is not but a reminder for the worlds. <laughs> Praise Allah with true appraisal when they said, Allah did not reveal to a human being anything. Say, who revealed the scripture that Moses brought as light and guidance to the people? Mm. You Jews make it into pages, disclosing some of it and concealing much. And you were taught that which you knew not, neither you nor your fathers. Say, Allah revealed it. Then leave them in their empty discourse, amusing themselves. وَهَذَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مُبَارَكٌ مُصَدِّقُ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ مُصَدِّقُ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَلِتُنْذِرَ أُمَّ الْقُرَى وَمَنْ حَوْلَهَا وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِهِ وَهُمْ عَلَى صَلَاةٍ And this is a book which we have sent down, blessed and confirming what was before it, that you may warn the mother of cities and those around it. Those who believe in the hereafter believe in it, and they are maintaining their prayers. Mm. <laughs> And who 
is more unjust than one who invents a lie about Allah, or says, it has been inspired to me, while nothing has been inspired to him. And one who says, I will reveal something like what Allah revealed. And if you could but see when the wrongdoers are in the overwhelming pangs of death, while the angels extend their hands saying, discharge your souls, Today you will be awarded the punishment of extreme humiliation for what you used to say against Allah other than the truth and that you were toward his verses being arrogant. <laughs> It will be said to them, and you have certainly come to us alone as we created you the first time, and you have left whatever we bestowed upon you behind you, and we do not see with you your intercessors which you claimed that they were among you associates of Allah. It has all been severed between you, and lost from you is what you used to claim. <laughs> Indeed, Allah is the cleaver of grain and date seeds. He brings the living out of the dead and brings the dead out of the living. That is Allah. So how are you deluded? He is the cleaver of daybreak and has made the night for rest and the sun and moon for calculation. That is the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing. Guys, if I'm not talking, I'm still here. That's why I look at the camera to let you know that I'm still here. Um, I'm not talking because... I don't have any sort of like questions because the only time I pause is if I have a question or if I have something to share. So if I'm not saying anything. And it is he who placed for you the stars that you may be guided by them through the darknesses of the land and sea. We have detailed the signs for a people who know. <laughs> And it is he who produced you from one soul and gave you a place of dwelling and of storage. We have detailed the signs for a people. Let's mute that for a second and go back who understand Oh, 
He is originator of the heavens and the earth. How could he have a son when he does not have a companion? And he created all things. And he is of all things knowing. We reacted to, I think it was the Critical Thinker video, was it? It's one of the speakers that we uh, constantly have reactions to. My laptop is making a lot of noise, so I'm just pulling it away from the light because it does that when it's heated. So anyways... Um, he was talking, he was explaining to us about the, I think about the son, like Jesus, right? Like the Christian and the Muslims perceptions of Jesus. He was arguing with this critical thinker guy. Um, it was an interesting, frustrating actually, um, video because the guy who was asking questions, just not i don't know what his point was but anyways go watch that video it's the critical thinker something something <laughs> Thus do we diversify the verses, so the disbelievers will say, 
you have studied, and so we may make the Quran clear for a people who know. <laughs> has been revealed to you from your Lord. There is no deity except him, and turn away from those who associate others with Allah. <laughs> not have associated and we have not appointed you over them as a guardian nor are you a manager over them <laughs> And do not insult those they invoke other than Allah, lest they insult Allah in enmity without knowledge. Thus we have made pleasing to every community their deeds. Then to their Lord is their return, and he will inform them about what they used to do. And they swear by Allah their strongest oaths that if a sign came to them, they would surely believe in it. Say, the signs are only with Allah, and what will make you perceive that even if a sign came, they would not believe? <laughs> And we will turn away their hearts and their eyes, just as they refuse to believe in it the first time. And we will lead them in their transgression, wandering blindly. So, since we reacted to, um, what's his name again? Ahmed Didat, um, explanation of, will you go to hell if you are not a Muslim? Um, that is this is reminding me this verse or the couple verses that we've seen a while ago is reminding me of that uh talk because he was he he mentioned that if you know about a religion or about something and you choose not to believe then that is the time because like if you are clueless and you haven't heard like about muslim about christianity or about the prophet then you are going to be judged based on your knowledge of what you knew and what you didn't know so that is interesting that we see it a little bit um here as well <laughs> And even if we had
had sent down to them the angels with the message, and the dead spoke to them of it, and we gathered together every created thing in front of them. They would not believe unless Allah should will, but most of them of that are ignorant. What? Imagine like you're already dead and the angels come to you and tell you and you still don't believe. That is, uh, that is too, that is, I don't know. And thus we have made for every prophet an enemy, devils from mankind and jinn, inspiring to one another decorative speech in delusion. But if your Lord had willed, they would not have done it, so leave them and that which they invent. And it is so the hearts of those who disbelieve in the hereafter will incline toward it, and that they will be satisfied with it, and that they will commit that which they are committing. Mm. Say, then is it other than Allah I should seek as judge while it is He who has revealed to you the book explained in detail? And those to whom we previously gave the scripture know that it is sent down from your Lord in truth, so never be among the doubters. And the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in justice. None can alter his words, and he is the hearing, the knowing. And if you obey most of those upon the earth, they will mislead you from the way of Allah. They follow not except assumption, and they are not but falsifying. Not but falsifying. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who strays from his way, and he is most knowing of the rightly guided. So eat of that upon which the name of Allah has been mentioned, if you are believers in his verses. So eat of that meat upon which the name of Allah has been mentioned. Uh, so that's like the halal. We did uh, obviously react to some of the... Like, I forgot. Mercy, halal, slaughter. The, I think, two parts. I didn't react to the last part of that video because there is, you know, the slaughter part. And I don't know if how YouTube is going to react with that kind of stuff. Because they're strict when it comes to, like, child endangerment and blood and killing and all that so i just avoided to react to it but that uh video really helped me when it came to the halal it's really 
sh surprising, like sh super shocking. And it's crazy, crazy beautiful. So that's another video we can associate to the verses that we watch. On which the name of Allah has been mentioned, if you are believers in his verses. And why should you not eat of that upon which the name of Allah has been mentioned, while he has explained in detail to you what he has forbidden you, excepting that to which you are compelled? And indeed, do many lead others astray through their own inclinations without knowledge? Indeed, your Lord, he is most knowing of the transgressors. And leave what is apparent of sin and what is concealed thereof. Indeed, those who earn blame for sin will be recompensed for that which they used to commit. Okay, so we're gonna end it here. And I feel like next week we might finish the surah. We'll see. Uh, but um, this verses that we tackled today is more about um, like the like what we see, like the meat slaughtering and about like the believers and the non-believers. Um, somebody told me that Al-Anham means something else, which I forget. It's not necessarily the cattle, it's something brother. I think it's like about animals, I believe, right? So um, it makes sense because it's talking about the food source in a sense when it comes to how we should prepare or like what food is haram and what's not right so that's very interesting that uh, even the surahs do teach us about that well let me know what you guys thought if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave it a comment section down below what other videos like to react to the original link of this video will be in the description box down below so it's my social media link so guys i'll see you in the next video bye